hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can animate the netflix logo in vstc free video editor so i've been working on this side project for the past couple of days and i wanted to share with you what new i've learned regarding this and hopefully by the end of this tutorial you will be better prepared to create your own unique logo in vstc free video editor so without further delay let's get started now the first thing we need to do to animate the netflix logo is to create the logo itself so to do that we will add two rectangle objects on screen so go to add object select rectangle and then click on ok now mark your rectangle object on top of the screen like this and I want this rectangle to be of a specific width and height and I've got the width and height with me so look inside the properties window and inside that you will find this coordinates section inside the coordinates section you will find these two options width and height so inside the width option you need to write 172 and then press enter and inside the height option you need to write 845 and then press enter perfect now click on this option which is vertical align center perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will decrease the duration of this rectangle object in the timeline so currently the duration of this rectangle object is 10 seconds so i would like to decrease the duration of this rectangle object from 10 seconds to 3 seconds 133 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 03.133 and then press enter perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will create a duplicate from this rectangle object so click on this rectangle object press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now drag the duplicate towards the right side like this perfect and click on this option once again which is vertical align center perfect now what we will do next is we will decrease the duration of this second rectangle object so currently the duration of this second rectangle object is 3 seconds 133 milliseconds so decrease the duration from 3 seconds 133 milliseconds to just 2 seconds so inside the duration option write 02.000 and then press enter perfect now drag the second rectangle object below the first rectangle object like this and currently it is placed at 0 seconds in the timeline so i would like to place the second rectangle object at 766 milliseconds in the timeline so click on the second rectangle object and look inside the properties window you will find this time option present right here so inside the time option you need to write 00 0.766 and then press enter perfect so this is how things are looking right now all right now the next thing which we will do is we will add the free shape object so go to add object go to free shape select free shape and then click on ok now place the first point on top left hand side of the first rectangle object place the second point on top right hand side of the first rectangle object place the third point on bottom right hand side of the second rectangle object and place the fourth point on bottom left hand side of the second rectangle object 
perfect perfect so this is how things are looking right now now next what i would like to do is i would like to change the duration of the free shape object in the timeline so the duration of the free shape object currently is 1 second 133 millisecond so i would like to change it to 2 second 500 millisecond so inside the duration option write 02.500 and then press enter perfect now i would like to place the free shape object at 500 millisecond in the timeline so currently it is placed at 2 second so i would like to place it at 500 millisecond so inside the time option you need to write 00 0.500 and then press enter perfect so this is how things are looking right now now next what we will do is we will change the colors inside the rectangle objects as well as inside the free shape object so click on the first rectangle object and look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window below you will find this color option where currently white is selected so click on the three dots which is present on the extreme right and this colors dialog will open up now i have got the html notation of the color which i want inside the first rectangle object so let me just directly write the html notation of that particular color so the html notation is b1 06 0f and now click on the ok button perfect now click on the second rectangle object and once again look inside the rectangle object settings below you will find the color option where currently white is selected so click on this three dots and this colors dialog will open up and once again inside the html notation text box you need to write the same value b1 06 0f and then click on the ok button perfect perfect and finally click on the free shape object and look inside the free shape settings which is present inside the properties window below you will find this color option where white is selected so click on this three dots and inside the html notation text box you need to write this particular html notation e50913 and now click on the OK button. Perfect. Perfect. So, so far so good. Now, let's move on to the animation part. So, we have created our logo. Uh, we have created our Netflix logo. So, let's move on to the animation part. Now, double click on the first rectangle object. And what we are going to do is we are going to add the push transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now place the push transition at the beginning like this. And first what we will do is we will adjust the duration of this push transition. So currently the duration of this push transition is one second. So I would like to decrease the duration of this push transition from one second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, you need to write 00.500 and then press enter. Now look inside the push settings. Type is set to door. So change this from door to side. Mode is right to left. So change this from right to left to top to bottom. Directly is set to false. So change this from false to true. Gradient length is set to 50%. So change this from 50 to 0 and then press enter. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. Now the next thing which we will do is we will add a second push transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. 
Now the duration of this second push transition will be 133 milliseconds. So click on this second push transition and set the duration option. You need to write 0, 0 0.133 and then press enter. Now place this second push transition at the end like this. Perfect. Now look inside the push settings. Type is already set to side. Mode is top to bottom. Directly is set to false. Gradient length is set to 0%. So now if I just quickly play the video. Just a second. Perfect. All right. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline. Now double click on the second rectangle object. And once again, we will add the push transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now place the push transition at the beginning of the video like this. And what we are going to do is we are going to decrease the duration of this push transition. So currently the duration of this push transition is one second. So you need to decrease the duration of this push transition from one second to 133 millisecond. So inside the duration option, you need to write 0, 0 0.133 and then press enter. Perfect. Now look inside the push settings. Type is set to side already. Mode is top to bottom. That's fine. Directly is set to false. So change this from false to true. Perfect. Gradient length is already set to 0%. So that's fine as well. Now we will add a second push transition inside this second rectangle object. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of this second push transition which we added inside the second rectangle object is one second. So you need to decrease the duration of this second push transition from one second to 500 millisecond. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter. Now place this second push transition at the end like this. Perfect. Now look inside the push settings. Type is set to side, mode is top to bottom, directly is false, gradient length is 0%. So that's fine. Perfect. So if I just quickly play everything from the start. So this is how things are looking right now. All right. Now what you need to do is you need to double click on the free shape object. And what we will do is we will add a wipe transition inside the free shape object. So go to editor, go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of this wipe transition is one second. So you need to decrease the duration of this wipe transition from one second to 266 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 0, 0 0.266 and then press enter. Now place this wipe transition at the beginning like this and look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to door. So change this from door to side. Mode is right to left so that's fine directly is set to false so change this from false to true gradient length is set to 50 percent so change this value from 50 to 0 and then press enter perfect so let me just see how things are looking perfect finally what we are going to do is we are going to add a second wipe transition so go to video effects once again go to transitions select wipe and then click on OK. Now the duration of this second wipe transition which we added inside the free shape object is one second. So you need to decrease the duration of the second wipe transition from one second to 266 millisecond. 
So insert the duration option, write 00 0.266 and then press enter. Now place this second wipe transition at the end like this. Perfect. Now look inside the wipe settings, type is side, mode is right to left, directly is false, gradient length is already set to 0%. Perfect. So now, if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. Perfect. Perfect. So this is how you can animate the Netflix logo in VSTC Free Video Editor. This is just a small demo. You can use your own creativity and you can you know, create your own unique logos in VSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.